some of my friends asked me to do a lipstick tutorial and uh, I'm not a professional in lipstick but um, I can show some tricks and something that I like and some something I don't like um, maybe just with few lipsticks that I have um, I have quite a collection of the lipsticks um, I will start with um, Kat Von D um, uh, contouring palette because um, lipstick is great but unless I contour at least a little bit I don't think it will look good so I'll just do some cheeks here usually I do a full contouring and it takes maybe like five minutes but today I'm just gonna do a little bit and especially on my lips like this. Hmm? Okay. So, um, that was a Kat Von D and that's my favorite um, contouring and I have probably, um, I don't know, 20 contouring palettes from cream palettes to liquid palettes to uh, very hard um, uh, powder palettes to uh, this um, silky ones you know and um, because I have a lot um, I can choose what goes well with my skin at that type of the day depends on what I do and what blends best and depends on how much time I have and that's um, a totally different conversation right now we're talking about um, lipstick I have all kind of lipsticks ranging from very very neutral and light to uh, very funky and bright. For example, let's do um, lip glosses from, let's say, Lancome, which is very light, and um, this one is very neutral lipstick. Yeah, lip gloss, like this, like this. You can barely see it on my lips. And for example, Melted by Too Faced, which is completely funky. So I have pretty much any color you can imagine. And this is just a part of my lipstick collection so as you can see it can match different colors and create some pretty amazing looks so this is actually something that I would wear in the daytime but of course as you can see my um, blush does not match my lipstick so I'll go either with a darker uh, kind of purplish bluish blush or I'll just take whatever I have on my finger and I'll just dub it a little bit here and then I'll just blend it really well to match it And I'm going to take it off and show you how to make big lips with a natural lipstick, with a bright red lipstick, and with a very funky bright pink lipstick. So what do you do after you just removed your lipstick? You apply concealer, and you can apply any concealer. The way I do it, I just dab it a little bit on my lips. Yeah, and then cover it with a little bit of any pretty much powder. So, we got our lips ready for the new color. How to find 
the right color of the lipstick. I have no idea how people can choose the lipstick or lip pencil in the grocery store. I don't know because everything's closed. Like, what color is that? Until you open it and you actually try it, um, you don't know. And to find the lip pencil, I draw again. And so sometimes they look close enough and sometimes they even look like they should be close but the undertone is more um, this one is uh, red and this undertone is actually more pink so um, the way I do it I do just draw it on my hand and so when you see me in the makeup store my hand usually looks like <laughs> that's normal. So um, let's start with um, natural. I rarely wear anything natural, but when I do, I uh, like when it stays on all day. So to do that, you gotta use either lip pencil or the lipstick that stays on all day. Um, for example, the lipsticks that stay on all day, a lipstick like this, they go on as liquid. Well, this one is not particularly natural, but you get an idea. They go on as liquid, and when they dry out, they're going to turn into um, very good paste. It just stays on your lips. Um, this one is not natural color, so natural color would be... This one is Toasted Almonds by Aromi. So the color is <laughs> something here, something pinky kind of color. We can actually mix it with another color, which is called Desert Taupe by Aromi as well. And it's more brownish color and it all depends on your skin color um, for some people this one would be natural for some people this one would be too um, brown so this one would be natural um, there are several ways how to do natural lipstick um, you can do just uh, a lip pencil and a lip gloss for example like this this one is unique pencil Pouty, called pouty. So what you do, you just line your lips outside, because you want a big lips, right? Who doesn't? What I like about unique um, pencils is that they're very soft. They're very soft, and uh, you don't have to push hard. So you line it from outside and then you actually fill it up. So when you fill it up, you can go on the top with any lip gloss, for example. Of course you will use a brush for lip gloss. Uh, I have quite a few brushes, so um, you can go and do a lip gloss here. If you want a very dramatic effect, you can draw a white pencil right over here. Right over here, you can draw a white pencil. Um, and that I probably will show in another video. Or you can use um, several colors of um, lipstick. For example, this one is a little darker. So this one will go on outside. And 
a lighter color, more neutral, go on inside. And then you would use a brush to blend it. So with this kind of lipsticks that are dry out and uh, they go to liquid, but then they stay on. Do you remember I, I put this one on? See, it doesn't, doesn't really, even, like in a, in a couple minutes, it's just not going to even blend. So uh, this one is a Romy. I have many colors of Lime Crime and um, I also will do another tutorial next time on Anastasia that I have, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, that I have a lot of those. Um, those lipstick, um, they are really specific. You have to get used to them because they dry out your lips and um, you're either comfortable with it or not. If you put lip gloss on it, it will look much better and will feel much better, but you need to understand that if you do that, uh, it's going. It's going to uh, not last that long. It's going to make this lipstick easier removable. So, um, if you want a lipstick to stay, use either only pencil and fill it up with a pencil, and then go over with this one without lip gloss. But if you're really uncomfortable, you can go over with lip gloss and um, sacrifice their long-lasting effect of this uh, lipstick and of course there are traditional lipsticks um, this one is more pinkish color we have um, let's say Lancome a lot of Lancome they're regular lipsticks and I don't even want to talk about them because everybody knows how to apply regular lipstick. You put the powder on your lips, you line your lips with a natural color, and then you apply lipstick. It's pretty easy. So um, I'm gonna remove this one color and then I'm gonna apply bright red and we'll show you how to apply bright red. Thank you. So here I already removed the previous color and applied a little bit of concealer and now I'm just gonna powder my lips a little bit and um, we're gonna find the red color. Um, I have absolutely favorite um, lip color for the red. It's a red velvet by um, Lime Crime and I'll show you. This is a true... <laughs> <laughs> this is a true red. At this, um, this is my usual hand when I'm trying lipsticks in makeup store. So don't go with me if you're embarrassed. So, so why I like this color because the color is pretty rich and because it stays on all day. So you will put it on and it will stay all day, and people will ask you what lipstick you have. Um, this one is an Urban Decay um, 69, which works really well with this color. Sometimes, um, in order to for color to stay in your color, I just go with the lip liner and I go outside. This one actually doesn't look red on my lips it's kind of looks pink for whatever reason let me see no it is red actually well so I can fill it up a little bit the main thing don't have any oil on your lips if you apply the red color you don't want 
you need oil and it will destroy it so um here I have a few choices what I can do I can put a lip stain like um, unique lip stain which goes on very liquidy and you need to apply it several times I can put um, Lancome where is it? Sorry. Um, I have a few favorite Lancome lipsticks which are red. Uh, this one is a Beauty and Bow, uh, a little bit kind of on the pinky side. Then we have um, uh, Red Stiletto, of course. This one. You can see it's a true red. And then um, I also have what this one. And it's red stiletto too. I guess I have two red stilettos. Um, let me see. I had somewhere very nice one comb. Uh, one comb. Oh, here it is. This one. This one is uh, from the latest um, collection, Absolute Rouge. Very red. Uh, okay. So Lancome lipstick will give you a very rich color, very moisture color on the top of the um, lip pencil. And at some point, somewhere throughout the day, you'll have to reapply it. The lip pencil will stay, but the lipstick probably will go away. What you can do, you can apply it twice. You can uh, dab a little bit of um, paper into that. and reapply it and that will make it stay longer really yeah. Yeah. it's pretty cool yeah. so this one is true red and this one is Lancome Absolute Rouge uh, number 151 um, I absolutely love it but um, the one that is absolutely my favorite that I apply really fast when um, I, I'm just going somewhere really quickly and I don't have time to put my full face on. I'll just put mascara. Um, of course, I'll put the BB cream with a SPF at least 20. And then I'll put red lips. And if you have red lips or if you have bright lips, um, it's really, as they said just recently to one of my friends, it doesn't matter if your toilet paper is stuck to your pants so yeah if you have red lipstick it doesn't matter so uh, I'll just kind of I just want to show you the color so the color of this red velvet lipstick from um, Lime Crime I have three of those so. That's one of the things that I do. I when I like something, I, I buy several of those. So see how it goes. True red color goes as as liquid. really fast and it's gonna dry out and it's gonna stay on all day so up to the next so the third lipstick um, I want to show you um, at first was a pink color like this here a bright pink And this one is actually Urban Decay uh, Woodstock and you can either use uh, Pink Velvet by uh, Lime Crime and that's what I usually would use or you can go funky and use Melted Metal um, Melted Metal by Too Faced so this one will go look
When you wear this kind of lipstick, it doesn't even matter if you, you know, nail polish is not. <laughs> yeah, it's a neon color. But I also was thinking that I'll just give you a little glimpse of what I can usually do uh, once in a while. And I'm not going out with my husband because he is usually shocked by this kind of lips. So this one is again Urban Decay psychedelic sister and I have few of those this one is twice so it could work for another lipstick um, I have quite a few Urban Decay because they go on very soft this one is a melted um, again by Too Faced and this one is And it looks funky, but I do wear it. Here, you need to make sure you cover all your lips. So, you're kind of goth. But people will pay attention. Okay, and um, just really quickly to tell you what I'm gonna do in my next video, really quickly. I have uh, some things that, um, where is it? Okay, um, obsessive compulsive. They have colors like that, and this is all lipstick. Okay, so this one is a makeup professional's lipstick that I can show you next time. Also, there's a Melt Cosmetics lipsticks, all funky colors as well. We will talk about colored mascara, including even pink colored mascara. And on the end, I'm going to show you something that I just purchased. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Lip enhancers. Those are made in the United States. And I'll, I'll show you how it works next time. But they're supposed to make your lips huge. And I tried them and they work. but. It's in another video, okay? Thank you very much. Have a great day. <laughs>